we bring you seven more unique wallets from the Wallatopia Shelves of Wallets. The Vargo Titanium Hinge Wallet. Let's take a look here. It slides off this information here on it and what it provides. Hmm. Cards, pull tab. Well, let's take a look here. So this is the back. It's got this uh, genuine leather. There is the first pocket, which is accessible here. We've got a pull strap, a second pocket right here, and this front part is titanium. Next is wall spin. Wall spin. Let's open the box. Hmm. Looks like we have some stickers. This will make sense in a moment. And the wallet. Well, yeah. This kind of looks like a wallet we've seen before. It looks like we have a clip, money clip, and it looks like a little screwdriver we can operate with. And a nice little card. Right, let's see. Oh, looky here. Woo! Okay. Well, I think that helps us understand a little bit about this. Here we have the Wolf Selection. This is the, called the Flex Wallet. Let's open this paper here and here. And here is the wallet itself. Take it out. Interesting looking. Got uh, the strap that goes along the front here. Looks like it's some cards. And, oh, looky. Ooh, party. We had a bunch of things come out here. wonder what this is. Oh, I know what this is. See, just more it's showing us how this wallet works. And of course, there's a little surprise in here. This means that it's made in, from Italian leather. And we'll look at this. There is a little surprise at the bottom. Here we have the Scudo Slide version 5. So this has gone through many iterations. This is Generation 5. We know the Scudo folks. Uh, they were in one of our prior unique wallets. And let's see. Made in the USA. Set aside that box. And got our Man. <laughs> this, is, this is really cool. Of course, it's all made out of aluminum. And it uh, opens a little easier. And let's see. We have an Allen wrench in here. Two Allen wrenches that can be used. And we'll talk about what that, what that looks like and how this provides other options that I don't have, but I'll show you. This is really quite cool. Love it. We have the Dosh Lux Wallet. It comes in this plastic case. Open that up and watch it come to us out of this riser. We'll set the plastic aside. And this is the Lux Wallet. I love this money clip because it's a unique money clip integrated into the wallet. We'll talk about this material as we get more into it, but it is a just a sleek, minimalist, nice little wallet. Next is the Zeros Cayenne 3. And in particular, this is the Sticks design. So let's get it out of its little plastic bag here and get a closer look. They come in many different styles. I liked the sticks, and actually you can highly customize this uh, with your own designs if you'd like. Uh, let's see, it's made, designed and made in the US. Some information on how to use it, we'll go over this. And let's we'll just take a quick look here. Yeah, look at that. Hmm, looks like we have some more info. This is another quick access pocket, which we will talk about. Now this one's my favorite. This is from Two of Us LV, Latvia. And it came in this darling little packaging. Let's take that off. Got a sticker that readily just pops up. And some tissue paper. Let's see what it has in store for us. Mmm. Liking the look of this. First we see some uh, nice leather here. How do we get into this? And we go, holy mackerel. This is the Copper Classic that provides us uh, the texture and variety you can see in this particular wallet. And that is uh, no thin piece of copper. That is very sturdy. Love the look of this. Also at the end, I'll take you through the price of each and their final scores. So stick around. Now let's walk through each of these wallets. I'm going to point out what the uniqueness is, the features, the quality, and the usability of all of these. In no particular order, we do have the Vargo Titanium, the Wall Spin Spinner, the Wolf Selection. We've got the Scudo Gen 5, the Dosh Lux, 
the Zeros, Cayenne 3, and finally, the Two of Us Latvia Copper Classic. The Vargo Titanium, so why is this unique? Well, I personally, I like the introduction of metal into this wallet. I love this hex design here. And it, uh, it, it provides a kind of a heftier feel to a very slim wallet. So if we look at the features on this particular wallet, it has a bottle opener. Why not? It does have an interior cash slot. There are two slots here. The first one off of the metal is right here. And it does have a, a slot at the bottom which captures it so it doesn't, can't slide through. And your cash folds in either thirds or quarters and comes in here. That's where the cash is stored. Then if we go to the back, there is the second slot which is right here. And this is where your cards are and access to it is done via this pull strap which provides access to cards. As you can see, like the Schnell Atlas wallet, I like the minimalist footprint with great functionality that comes with this particular wallet. The look at the titanium front is really attractive. I, I like these hexagons that are here. It's really easy to use. You can see them together. The metal, of course, will mean you have a rigidity in your pocket. So with that said, this is really a front pocket wallet. And from a quality perspective, this is designed in the United States and it's made in China. Now we have the wall spin spinner. Well, this is unique. Well, why? Well, if you like fidget devices, then this wallet might be for you. It has a built-in spinner, which allows you to hold it in your hand and spin it. You can see I'm trying to do that here. And let me compare this to a regular spinner so you can kind of get a feel for it. You, you can see how this, this works. By way of features, it has this exterior money clip, very much like we'd see with other similar wallets like the Ridge. This is fundamentally the Ridge design. And uh, it, it, you, know, you do not have to unscrew this wallet to be able to remove this money clip. It just pops right out. And I don't say pops right out. You do have to put some significant force to get this out of the wallet. Ah, oh, there we go. And so you're able to get it out. And so it's optional and you don't have to go through the effort of using the screws. Of course, cash be folded you know, two, th uh, two times, you know, thirds or quarters to get in here. And if we go here, we have the interior card slot. This has a capacity up to 14 cards before you stretch the elastic of which it does come with a screwdriver and you can self-service and replace this elastic. The concept is built off the ridge wall, as I mentioned, and due to the metal, it does automatically block RFID and they guarantee a 45 or more second spin time. We'll see if we get that. You know, when it's not hitting my hand by accident, I believe that that actually might work. Now it also comes with these stickers. And these stickers are things that you can go, these are kind of cool. Look at all these. And where do you think these stickers go? Yeah, you'd guess right. They go right here on the middle of the spinner. They are raised a bit, which I think helps give a little bit of clearance. Now, if you'd like to see the card and cash insertion test for any of these wallets, I place them at the very end of the videos. We now have the Wolf Selection Flex Wallet. Well, why is this unique? Well, for me, it's a couple things. The organization that we see here across the front, of which you can see the cards that they have as samples. Uh, they have these nice finger slots right here to be able to get these cards out. And you have some in the front, you have some in the back, and you even have a couple on the interior right here at the top and also top on the other side. Not only that, and honestly, it just looks cool. It does have a pass-through capability, which you can see in the card and cash insertion test right here. And that's for a quick access card slot. And then of course, at the very bottom, guess what we have? Well, you had to guess and guess what it is. It is a pen and a knife. So. On this side, let me set that aside so it'll focus. On this right here, you unscrew it. Look at this. This is a little package knife that you can use. And probably more useful is going to be this pen. Uh, I, I can't tell you every time I fly into a country and I have to fill out those dumb forms, you know, I wish I had a pen. And I do carry one, but something this small as part of my wallet, and you can see how it just fits in here really nicely, is really a great option. Now, it does have an overall capacity of 14 cards. And where do you put cash, you say? Well, you put it right here. You fold your cash just once. It is made from Italian veg tanned leather. So it is made uh, you know, by good leather. It has that stamp, which is a guarantee for it. And it really smells. Oh yeah, this is good leather. Since there's so much going on with this wallet in such a small package, I'd say it is either a front or back carry. You do have some rigidity with this pen here and the cash and card capacity is high. Now, as you can see here, I'm kind of stuffing it to see how many Oh, cards we can get in here as well as still make it usable. And it's doing quite well. Next, we have the Scudo Switch Gen 5. So why is this unique? Well, it's the Scudo. This one has a, a side opening. Okay, the side opening right here of this fully CNC'd wallet while still being very functional makes this cool. I, it, it's not super thick. It comes in, in two versions. Uh, and from this perspective, you could actually use this uh, as a weapon in a pinch. The weapon, drop the weapon. For a feature perspective, it has one exterior ID window right here. 
It also has the ability for a placement, which will show how that works. And a blocking card we're not to use that can be customized with colors, logos, whatever it might be. And on the exterior on the other side, we have a CNC a receiver for a money clip that can be added. It comes in a 12 or 18 card option, and of course the cash need to be folded twice to get in here. Now, from that perspective, from a design angle, this is designed and made in the United States. It's a base, the base and the lid are CNC'd from a 6061 aluminum bar stock, and the spring and hinge that we see right here, this spring and hinge, is a hardened stainless steel. Now you can see how I, I'm using this to open it up with one hand, I can thumb through the cards, and look how I'm able to change out this, uh, this ID if I want to. And with the included Allen wrench, you can put different colors or other plates that are offered. Now the version of the switch is more functional to me because it is uh, truly a one-hand operation, unlike uh, the original uh, Scudo, which was really larger and came from the top down. The size is more manageable with it being just slightly larger than the size of a card, as you can see right here, works really well and you can access your cards simply by just thumbing through them. We now have the Dosh Lux. Why is this unique? Well, it's 100% recycled material, you know, which you know, a lot of other wallets have, but it's the very clean lines. And for me, like I mentioned early on, it's this money clip, stainless steel money clip that really sets the tone for the wallet. That nailed it for me, I really like it. For a feature perspective, it does come with six interior card slots that are individually molded for the cards. And so you can't get more than one in each of these. And it does have this stainless steel money clip. Capacity of one to nine, nine notes. It does not work with taller currencies. This is made in Australia and designed there as well. And so it's meant for shorter currencies. Now it's made from recycled material, a TPU polymer. I wonder how this smells. Hmm, let's smell this. <laughs> Plastic. Ooh. It is water resistant, compact, very durable. It has an RFID option that only comes in black. From a usability perspective, it is easy enough to use. You can tell it just comes with its molding already in place and it is one card per slot. Now with the cards uh, opening out, of course, there's a, an option or potential that cards could fall out this way. That's why with bifolds like this or billfolds, having the cards enter from the, the fold in really protects them because once folded, cards are not really gonna fall out. Again, the money clip, I love it, it's robust. I mean, this really is robust. I can't even, I can barely move it here with my finger. And uh, otherwise, I, I really like how this functions. Now we have the Zeros Cayenne 3. Cayenne like pepper. That's a spicy meatball. So why is this unique? Well, the options for stamping on here are really endless and you can have a custom stamp done. Uh, for a nominal amount of money if you'd like, and they will do that custom work for you. It does take on the burrito wallet style, like uh, we saw with the Nero wallet. And if we can take these sample cards out, you can see how they have them placed and the type of sample cards that uh, you would place in there. So from a burrito perspective, they come right in here. Now you're thinking, well, geez, I can just get things in and out of there easily. But really what works nice on this are the features that we come with the back. We have a cash strap, cash folded twice, uh, can be placed under here, or it could be a hotel key, an access card, oyster card, whatever it is. Uh, you can use that to tap. And then it has an interior card slot. That's this main burrito slot here where you can push the cards in or out either way. And then finally, it has this quick access little slider right here. And if you grab this and pull it out, then what it gives you is access to your immediate cards or ID that's right here, and you can put it right back in. It's really not difficult. It's designed and made in the United States from a full grain veg tanned Italian leather, and it's a certified leather, so I know that's there. Well, let me take a smell. And here we go with this one. Ooh, I mean, that's Italian leather, but it kind of smells like glue. From a usability perspective, it comes in two to three, four to six, and eight to 10 models. And with the cards sliding in and out from the top or bottom, quick access slider here is really most useful for cards and ID. And you can get the cash strap for what you're looking at there. And it's, it's really not difficult to look at. What you do like though, is that you can get the cards uh, simply by pushing them out here and then you're able to uh, fan them easily by finding the cards you want. And once you find it, then you can pull it out, put it back in, and just holding it together brings it uh, together. Now you wanna make sure that you have enough cards in here, otherwise you will have this problem. I only have a total of five cards in here. And finally, we have the Two of Us LV, or Latvia. This is the Copper Classic. Well, why is this unique? Well, the connection to minerals and earth in this rugged steampunk type wallet design is intriguing to me. And it honestly, is kind of a piece of art. It's a great conversation starter. And it looks like it really could have been created by the Vikings. From a feature perspective, we have this latch hook right here that keeps all the cards safe. We flip that open. It has, this one has a capacity up to eight cards. 
and cards go in from the top right here. You can also put cash, cash won't slide out of here, and it has this thumb push to be able to get the cards out. It's designed and made in Latvia, hammered copper plate with these black stainless steel screws and this crazy horse leather. This will patina all day long and keep getting better with age. From a usability perspective, it is easy enough to use, unlatch the leather uh, from the latch, uh, insert your cards, fold it twice uh, for cash, relatch it, and you're ready to go. It does feel good in your hand despite being a little bit heavy, but really not too bad. And being that it's metal, it is better in the front pocket because of the rigidity. Again, look to the end of the video for the card and cash insertion test if you'd like to look at those between the wallets. And stick around after the final scores for the next video I'd recommend. So now let's look at the final price and final score. As you can see from the different prices, Vargo Titanium, $50.34. Wall Spinner 7031, we've got the Wolf Selection 5538, Scudo 8540, the Dosh Lux 7335, the Zero Cayenne at 4236, and the Copper Classic at $60.38. Uh, great selection, good scores for a number of these. Now, if you haven't seen the previous Unique Wallet video, watch this video next. And now onto the card and cash insertion test. And again, you can find the timestamps in the description.